Ariel Helwani alongside one of the top contenders in the UFC middleweight division, the man who just defeated Michael Bisping, Luke Rockhold. And Luke, we are in Mexico City, but we have to talk about the new news first. The UFC just announced moments ago that Jacare is going to fight Yoel Romero February 28th in Los Angeles. Does this surprise you? Uh, I heard rumors about that before uh, my fight with Bisping, and uh, it, it's a little disappointing. I definitely would like I would have liked that fight, um, but there's other options out there, and and uh, and who knows, you know, what's going on with that with that fight? You know, there's four guys in the middleweight division fighting in that card, four top guys, and uh, people get injured, people fall out of fights, so um, the likelihood of one of those falling out is probably a pretty good possibility, right? So do you think that you will be kind of on reserve in case one of those guys can't fight? Like you won't get a fight until then, you think? Well, I just don't think there's many options right now. I think Machida's got his fight coming up. When What's the date on that fight? December 20th. December 20th. So um, Not too far away. Not too far. So, I mean, that's, that's you know, whether if Dalloway can pull that one off or, or Machida, those are, that's another option there. Um, with those four, I, I don't really see too many other options in the, in the division, but... What's that, you know, right there, right? I mean, do you? See, it seems like the UFC and Dana in particular really wants that Rockhold Machida fight. He did an interview uh, just a couple of days ago on UFC.com saying that that's still a fight that interests him. Does it interest you if he gets by Dalloway? Yeah, no, definitely. It's, it's, it's going to be a fun fight, no doubt. I think stylistically, it, I could see how they look at it. It would be fun, and, 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 be, and it makes sense. Machida looked good in the title fight, and, uh, you know, I've been doing well lately, so. It'd be a true, you know, number one contender. Now we got two true number one contender fights, I guess, if if that would come to fruition. Is a part of you still holding out hope that Vitor doesn't make it to February 28th, so you can slide in? Uh, you know, it, it would. Uh, it'd be. It, I'd be ready to go, no doubt. Or you know, Weidman gets injured from time to time too. <laughs> Hey, slip in and fight Vitor. That excites me even more. You guys seem very chummy in Australia. It was almost like you were ganging up on Vitor together. Uh, I've always, Weidman's always been a friend of mine, and so, you know, we're, we just do our thing, you know. No one in the fight game has that much respect for Vitor. <laughs> you know, Larry David once said there are only two people who wear sunglasses indoors. Do you know who they are? No. I, I'm just, it's been a long week. It's been <laughs> a long week, and I, there's a lot of me. you drinking it. I just, it's coffee. Oh, okay. it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> I just flew straight in from Sydney, Australia. You can imagine. It's, uh, you know. I had to host a VIP dinner party thing and another one tonight. So it'd be Life nice. is good for you. You're on cloud nine. You just defeated your rival, Michael Bisping. Can you put into words what that felt like when you actually finished him? First time ever submitted as well. I don't know if you knew that. Mm -hmm. I heard, I heard. <laughs> yeah. What did it feel like? It felt, felt great. You know, I just uh, been wanting to shut his mouth for a long time. Finally set the record straight and, uh, you know, shut up. A lot of his fans that were coming after me, people are, he's got a lot of fans, man. It's yeah. funny. It's funny. It's funny to hear them all and what they think and uh you know it's it nice just to set the record straight and go out there and win a fight and uh move on to the next step people are always looking to complain and they're like oh why did he help him up why did he hug him afterwards and whatnot why did you do that it's not really a hug oh, it was like more of an embrace yeah. you picked him up I told it was diaz shamrock s didn't i tell you it was like the next time i was shaking his hand was i was picking him off the canvas right. stayed true to my word um i mean i respect the guy in the cage he's, he's fought hard and uh, he's fought a lot of tough guys, and, he, and he's, he's a tough dude. Um, he'll step in there with anybody. Outside the cage, I, I don't respect him. You know, I don't respect how he carries himself. Still? Of course, no. I, I'm, I'm true to my word. I, I said in the cage. You know, we're, not, we're never going to be friends outside, and, but I respect what he does, you know, how he's fought in the cage and who he's fought, no doubt. Will you help Daniel Cormier for John Jones? Because he was very quick to tweet you right after. I mean, can't even give you a moment to celebrate the win. How about that? Seriously. So right? selfish. I know. It calls me and just harasses me like the day after my fight. I'm like, what the f Man, I, yeah. you a week. I know. He's, he's been harassing me everything. He's, he's got a media tour in Vegas on Monday and Tuesday, and he's, he's begging me to come with him on that, too. So it's like. Will you? <sighs> yeah, I guess. I told, a friend. I told him you're a, you're a dick, <laughs> but yes, <laughs> I will go. To you. Dana White told me he's going to meet with you next week. What's that all about? Uh, I, I don't know. He's coming here too. I you know, yeah. I told him we're you know we text a little bit after the fight. I said I'll see you in Mexico. Maybe uh, you know obviously that could have something to do with it. And I'm sure I'll probably see him with the media tour with DC. So I'm uh I don't I can't get too far out of shape. Can't get too out of the gym. I'm going to pack on a couple pounds to give myself a little bit of an advantage, you know, with DC in camp because you know him well. He uh, tries to take every advantage he can, so a couple extra pounds will, will definitely help me out. 
So I'm gonna, I've been, you know, putting them on a little bit. Enjoying, enjoying Mexico a little bit here. Let's see the eyes. Ah, no, no, thank you. <laughs> they're just so sparkly. I like to see them. Uh, they're, they're I, get, I get drowned in them. Very, very sparkly. I haven't had a lot of sleep. My jet lag is is wearing on me. I like, I literally like came in and did the eating contest. Right. Okay, and uh, just basically just laid me out, passed out, woke up at three o'clock in the morning. Went, went to the gym, actually. Went to the gym. Well done. Five o'clock in the morning. Ate breakfast. Came back. Slept all day. And then last night we had, a, we had to stay up all day doing, doing stuff and, uh, and had the media at the dinner with the VIPs. And it's been a long week. It's been a long week. Life is good for Luke Rockhold. Congratulations on the win. We knew you had it in you that you can at least show up to the fight because we knew the fight would be big. As far as what happened in the fight, it, we had no idea. Yeah. But uh, you didn't get him in the first round. I hate to say you did predict that. But... Yeah. Semantics at this point, right? Uh, yeah, but I, I did pretty well. Luckily, right? he didn't take that bet with the the purse. <laughs> well, like luckily, you know, I still, I still would have done all right, you know. But it was a, uh, you know, I would have fought him for free. Tell you the truth, I just wanted to shut him up, and uh, it was it was good. Knock him out, choke him out. It's pretty decent, huh? Yeah, not bad. Yeah. Congrats, enjoyed, and congrats on the Giants as well. Ah, thank you very much. It's uh, been a good week for the Bay. <laughs>